G'day and welcome to the third video on integration by recognition, uh, 7.5 in your textbook. Um, you need to watch the first two videos before you watch this one because this one is a little bit trickier. Um, but if you've watched the first two and you're ready for the challenge, then uh, you know, jump on for the ride. So I'm asked this question, find f dash of x, find the derivative of uh, this here, f of x equals e to the sine x. And in doing so, hence find, so use the answer that you get for this to find the integration of one on three cos x e to the sine x plus five x dx. Okay, so somehow this thing here that we're gonna get will give us the answer to this bit here, which we wouldn't actually know how to do by hand. We might, yeah, we'd be able to do the five x bit okay, but we can't do cos x times e to the sine x because there's no product rule um, for this one. So. The first thing that I do is I the number one I set up. I might even put these over here. Number one, I set it up. Um, I do the diff of the thing that I, I've been asked to e to the e to sine x, and that's equal to cos x e to the sine x. And you can see that this bit here is very similar to this bit up here, which is what I want. Okay. So then the next thing I do, the number step two. Actually, I might even write them on the left hand side because I think I'll have a bit more room. So step two is I integrate the entire sine. The entire side. Um, so integration, uh, integrating a diff will get rid of itself, and then I've just got the integration of cos x e to the sine x dx. Okay, now I rearrange to to find out what I want. Um, basically, I'm just going to flip them over uh, one this one to the left hand side, that one to the right hand side. Now the tricky thing with this one here is that I actually need more stuff in here than what I've got. I actually need a third cos x e to the sine x but I only have cos x e to the sine x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by three, okay, because that'll get me the third. Um, times by a third or divide by three. So I'm gonna get divided by a third on both sides. So I get a third of this and a third of that. And then I can push that third in, inside the, um, the integration sign so that it looks exactly what, like what I had up there. The only other thing that I've got to do too is that in here it says I've got plus 5x dx. Now I don't have this in here, but I'm allowed, because it's an equal sign, I'm allowed to add 5x on one side as long as I do the equivalent on the other side as well. But it's not as simple as just adding 5x onto one side because I'm actually adding the integration of 5x dx. So I'm going to put plus 5x on the left hand side here, so but the integration of um, 5x, which means I have to do the antiderivative on the other side. I actually have to do what? If I you know, do the integration of this, I have to put that on the other side. I guess that the step just before this is that I, I also put this on that side, but then I actually integrated that to get what this was, which is 5x squared on two, okay? It seems a bit strange, but I'm allowed to do this. As long as I do the same thing on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, I'm allowed to do whatever I like. I could you know, multiply both sides by you know, 3.73 if I wanted to. As long as you do it on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, it's just in this case, it's a little bit different because I'm adding an integration sign on this side and I'm adding what the actual integration sign equals on the right-hand side. Okay, but hopefully you understand that. So once I've added, you know, once I've, I've got these in the two integration sides, I'm actually just going to group them together because they're, you know, they're both integrated, so you can do that. And I get the integration of all of this, plus 5x, equals this bit on the right-hand side. And then I just put a plus c at the end just to, to recognise that there could be some constant there that, that I haven't, uh, haven't calculated just yet. Okay, so this question is a, a little bit more tricky than uh, some of the other ones, but it's the same, uh, same processes that we go through. Um, in order to get the right answer. So uh, th th that's it for uh, integration by recognition, one of my favorite parts of the course. Hopefully if you follow the methods that, that, that I've uh, showed you, the five five step method, you should be able to do these questions uh, relatively um, okay without too many uh, hiccups. The, the thing I find is if I don't do them systematically, I can get stuck. So I would encourage you to do them systematically at least until you get the hang of them. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. Thanks.